So here's the long anticipated uh, green colored pencil review. These are not obviously all the color colored pencils that are out there, but these are the ones that, and also these aren't all the ones that I have, but these are the ones that I really like, I use a lot. Um, I'm always, if you've seen my other videos, I'm always looking for natural greens. And so that's what um, this group is being called, the more natural greens. And by that, I mean, they're not those really overly bright, um, overly, a lot of um, sets come with like another media, like a watercolor set might come with a phthalo or a viridian green that you can mix down to a natural, um, a natural green with, you know, additions of yellow or red or um, anything like that. But in color pencil, you have a little bit more difficult time. You kind of need the pencil to be the color that you want. You can do layers, but it's, it's always best to have like a go-to pencil. So for this, I've broken them down into uh, natural greens to start with. And then I have uh, bright greens and then olive greens and uh, some of the muted more unique greens that I like and then some of the cooler ones that I like and dark ones as well. So this might be a couple of videos long. Uh, we'll see how we go but to start with I am testing, now I have um, a few of the Derwent lines. I have um, Holbein, uh, a couple of the Karen Dosh lines like Luminance and Pablo, and then also on the more um, economic scale are the um, Prismacolor. So, and the, I think Polychromos are a good, um, a good buy, especially for, uh, unlike the Prismacolor, they have better light fastness range. Now, you'll see when I scan these and put them up on my website, they're different, um, like say for the whole buying, they go by an asterisk system to denote whether something's light fast or not. So two is on the lower range, um, they have a three. I'm not sure if there's a four. Don't think there is. I think three is the highest. Um, they all have different, see the Derwent Light Fast has LF2, which is good. Their LF1 is excellent. But Prismacolor LF1 means it's not very good. So, you have to know, I'll put that um, on my website, a little breakdown of what these codes are and what they mean. So you'll have that to look at after this. But instead of talking too much about light fastness, I will rely on you to go to my website and download it there to um, see if you want to buy from this list, you can have a little bit more of an informed um, view before you go and make your purchase. Okay, so starting off with the Holbein Leaf Green. Now you'll see some of these will, you'll kind of see some that may be what you would consider more olive green but I'm putting them here because they would be more, more my go-to for natural greens. Now the Holbein ones are really nice, nice and soft. Uh, Derwent Light Fast Foliage. I just love this. It is a bit yellow, but it's a really nice natural color. And then Moss Green by um, Karen Dash Luminance. And 
same company. This is the chromium oxide green. I just realized that I'm going blind here. I have my computer hooked up so that I don't go off camera, but for some reason it's just not keeping up. So anyways, I think I'm okay, but I will apologize if I go off. Uh, this is the Polychromos, Faber-Castell Polychromos Permanent Green Olive. Now you'd be thinking, why don't you put that in the olive category? I don't see it as very olive. I see it as a very natural green. Next row, Karen Dosh Moss Green. Now you'll see the same um, company. The Luminance is a more expensive uh, brand, and this is also a better light fatness uh, level compared to the Moss Green in the Pablo, which is a step down in price and quality. But it's a really beautiful green. It's quite different from the Luminance. The Luminance one is quite a bit darker. But these are the pencils that I actually bring with me for um, working my sketchbook. And then you don't really have to worry about light fastness when you're doing that. So this is the first Prismacolor. And every, I think everybody knows how soft these are. And that's the Kelly Green. Then the Earth Green Yellowish. By Faber-Castell. Holbein Cactus Green. And then the Holbein Jasper Green. Now usually when I see Jasper or Pine, any sort of evergreen, you always think there's going to be a little bit of a blue tinge to it. And now there, there is a little bit, tiny little bit, but it's still a very natural kind of green. And then Karen Dosh Spruce Green. Slowly getting a bit darker. It's the Prismacolor Olive Green. Marine Green. And if I saw that name, I would maybe think that that would be a little bit um, bluish but it's actually a kind of olive drabby kind of green, which I actually very much like. And then we have Polychromos um, Chromium Opaque Green. As opposed to their Chromium Oxide Green. And then the Prismacolor Kelp Green. The bad thing about Prismacolors is that you have to, because they're so soft, you have to um, sharpen them all the time. So that's those ones. And last in the line is the uh, Prussian Green by Prismacolor. Color.
And then we haven't seen these yet. These are new to me, um, the German Artist Pencils. I just got these and I think um, if you saw my last video, um, I found out from the Art Gear Guide that um, they're getting rid of a lot of their pencils. This is the 120 uh, set and it's going down to 72. So a lot of the greens, I'm not sure if it's um, this green or any other uh, German artist greens that I'm showing are on the cut list, but I think a lot I noticed were. So I wanted to get in there before they're gone. I'm going to check that because I think I may, may want to buy some backups as open stock while you can still buy them. And then this is the Derwent Artist Sap Green, which is a bit cooler than most sap greens. I also find a lot of the German artists um, not as smooth, a little bit more sandy when you're using them. And I, I don't mind that since I have other ones to fall back on that are softer. Um, I kind of like these for texture. Um, by the way, I'm using um, just cartridge paper from Della Romney. And this is Robert Castell Chromium Oxide. Oh, I think I was talking about that. I'm getting, thinking that those were both Robert Castell, but this is a Chromium Opaque and this is a Chromium Oxide. And then lastly, for the naturals, uh, we have Pine Green. And again, you'll see later on when I do dark greens that some of these could have fallen into that category, especially the chromium oxide. And there we go. So those are the natural greens. Natural in my humble opinion. So these are the go-to ones that I I would use the most um, in my uh, mostly mixed media art, especially my house portraits or anything like that, or landscapes that I do. So these would be the ones that I would use mostly. So I'm just gonna set up for the next one. Okay, you have to love technology. Uh, for some reason, my computer just stopped recording and that's how I was recording through the iPhone to my MacBook and for some reason it just missed out that whole uh, line it's watching but as I've said before you will be able to see these on my website so anyways we'll go on did May green we'll move on to the third row you miss all the magnificent things that I said. <laughs> so this is a um, German artist grass green, Faber Castell polychromos light green. Prismacolor Spring Green. Karen Dash Pablo Yellow Green. And Derwent Light Fast Grass Green 70%. And then the last row 
is Prism Color Apple Green. And Karen Dosh Luminance Grass Green. Now this is verging on a green that I would find a little too verging on fake, but I still use it a lot. As you can see, it's getting um, sharpened down quite a bit. So there we go. There is Naturals and the Brights. Okay, so now we're moving on to the olives. And once again, some of these you may think should have been into the other categories. Um, but this is just my opinion, how I look at them um, when I'm making decisions about uh, my palettes and things like that. So we're going to start with a Pablo in light olive. Another Pablo in olive yellow. Like that's almost verging on the brights in my opinion. And then the luminance in olive yellow. Very bright. Fantastic color to lay down everything. Uh, Holbein olive yellow. Very soft. Nice muted one. And Pablo in khaki green. Then Prismacolor in Lime Peel. Luminance Green Ochre. And this is a very ochre color, but I, I still want to include that. Holbein Moss Green. And this could fall into the natural category too, but I just thought there was a little bit more of a yellow tone to it to put it in here. And then the artist moss green. Again, a little bit of a sandier lay down quality to it, but still a really nice color. And then olive. Oh, it's actually olive gray. Oops. Pablo. And then we have Pablo and just olive. Holbein, olive green, Pablo, olive black, Moss green prism color. It's always great to do things like this to really understand the comparisons between different brands. Like, it's a little bit difficult for you watching this, but if you feel the way different pencil manufacturers, and even in, within the same brand, 
some pigments are different than others, so that can affect how soft or not it is. That was uh, Polychromos in olive green yellowish. Now second last row, olive green in artists. See again, the, um, where was I? The moss green felt a lot different than this color when swatching it. Olive brown, Pablo. Olive brown in luminance. So again, this is the same, you would think that these would be very simple, if not exact, but the Paolo is a little bit on the yellower side than the um, luminance olive brown. Both called olive brown, but both different. And this is the olive brown 50% luminance. And then olive earth in the artist. Last row. Seaweed. It's actually quite a brown color. And light bass, olive earth. And this is the first of the ones that I've been using of um, to make an appearance in this swatching, the Durant Drawing Pencils. If you haven't used these before, these are the best, in my opinion, and a lot of others, um, for very natural colors, and they're beautiful to put on. They have a little bit of a um, wider core than the rest of Derwent Range. And they're just, you know, treat yourself to the full 24 uh, set. There's only 24 of them. Um, I got the 12 set and regretted it because then I bought the rest open stock. So they're just so beautiful to use. They go down so well. Some of the softest pencils that I've used. And Prismacolor Green Ochre. Quite different from that green ochre. And lastly, Olive Drab. There's that word, drab. I just know I'm gonna like it. It's much more natural color. So you can see these are more on the brown note than the earlier rows. So there we go. I'm gonna stop it there and do this video in two parts. The next one will feature um, the muted and more unique colors that I like, um, the cooler and darker colors, and that's it for now. So uh, if you want to see part two, make sure you catch it. Uh, make sure to subscribe below and like this video if you liked it. And follow me on Instagram at Eileen Riley Arts to see how I put these to use. Okay, thanks so much.